Hi there, Eric back, a naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back. I always appreciate people looking at my videos. You are a subscriber, aren't you? Thanks for subscribing. Right, we can talk about a kidney flush. We spoke previously about a three-week kidney detox. This is quite similar, but this is going to be pushing it a little bit harder. So what I'd like you to do is do the 21-day awareness of all the points we spoke about in the previous video. Changing your diet, drinking more water, cutting out coffee and tea, you know, becoming mindful of your kidneys, becoming mindful of the food you're eating. Maybe taking a kidney um, herbal medicine, you can do that as well. But particularly a three-week mindful period for the kidneys is what you want to do. I can tell you folks now, every single patient I've seen over the years, my age particularly and above, when we do blood tests, we find a steady decline in their kidney function between, I'd say, 1% to 3% per year. It's not unusual. We're going to die anyway. We all know that. But like my mother always used to say to me, I want to die a healthy corpse. So if you want to die a healthy corpse and you want to live longer, keep your kidneys in good shape because they're filtration organs. Okay? You can't just chop it open, throw it out, and throw a new kidney in in a hurry like you can with, a say, a fuel filter in an automobile. You can't do that. So we, But we can look after them more. And, you know, if we do notice a decline in kidney function through a blood test, we can start making changes. And then we can do another test to see if we're starting to turn the ship around. It makes a lot of sense to me, especially if you're interested in good health. So let's talk about this flush, right? So let's just assume now you've done 21 days and you've worked on, you know, changing your ways, you know, these sorts of things we've spoken about. And you've also avoided now, at this point, you're going to avoid all saturated fats from your diet, fried foods, meats, sugar, and soft drinks, which you've probably done anyway. Um, we've got, we talked about the spinach, the rhubarb, alcohol, coffee, black tea, chocolate, processed foods, no oxalate or uric acid containing foods for a few weeks. All right. So you might want to, if you really want to do the flush after the three week detox, you'll probably want to have a, a much uh, cleaner diet than if you weren't going to do this flush. All right. So here we go. Have a cup of tea made with a tablespoon of dried or crushed corn silk. You know the silk that you get around the corn cobs? If you can get some organically grown non-GMO corn, uh, collect the silk and just let it dry and you can crush it up and put it in a brown paper bag. That actually makes up a very good tea, what we call a demulsant tea. It's very soothing for the kidney and it assists in the passage of kidney stones quite well. So when you're going to do this flush for a couple of days prior to the flush, I want you to have three times per day a cup of the corn silk tea. You can also simmer a large bunch of parsley, especially with the roots. So parsley root or parsley is a great way to clean the kidney out. You can make a strong cup of tea out of, out of the parsley. So just simmer parsley for half an hour, let it cool, strain it, and then drink that twice per day or even three times per day small amounts. Then we talked about the detox diet, celery and parsley, especially great additions. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take magnesium, 400 milligrams, combined with vitamin B6. So you could take 50 to 75 milligrams of B6 and 400 of magnesium. A B complex along with this works quite well. Now I'm just going to read this out here of my notes on my website. This may cause partial elimination of kidney stones in many patients, and some studies claim as high as a total elimination of all small stones in a high percentage of patients. So let's tell you that again. 400 milligrams of magnesium, about 50 to 75 milligrams of B6, and then you also want to take a B-complex tablet. Now you can do that two to three times per day. You do that for a three or four day period with lots of water, the corn silk tea that we spoke about, the correct diet, it's all going to help. If you want to pee better, potassium magnesium capsules. So you could take one to two of these capsules a couple of times per day for up to three weeks for PE, for improved pee. Recurring urinary tract infection, then try some D-mannose, M-A-N-N-O, let me write that down for you because everyone gets this mixed up. So you want to try this stuff. It's easy to get hold of. So D mannose powder. Okay, you see that mannose. You can actually get that powder. You can buy that on Amazon. 
And that powder is fantastic for urinary tract infections because D-mannose, it's basically a type of sugar, but it's not a bad sugar because you pee it out. It actually binds to E. coli or the bacteria that, that cause urinary infection. It binds to it a bit like Velcro sticks, okay? So it will actually see the bacteria, adhere to it, and then you pee that out. So D-mannose has aborted many different urinary tract infections in patients I know. So use the D-mannose powder to prevent urinary tract infection or to calm one down. And also get some Canzida Remove tablets because they contain berberine and garlic and other things in them. And they're going to work with urinary tract infections. That's right. They actually help to kill and destroy a lot of bacteria in different parts of the body. So that should work quite well. If you're a cigarette smoker, I recommend a hair analysis. And that's mainly to check for cadmium and you know other heavy metals because smokers often contain, have their bodies, have heavy metals in their bodies. And some of these heavy metals love to lodge around the kidney area. So if you have been a smoker and you've quit or you are a smoker and you want to do kidney work, always get the hair analysis completed to check out any heavy metals. Do a bit of cleansing. It can make a lot of difference for your health if you get those kidneys in great shape. So that's the kidney flush. Now those supplements we talked about, you can take those intensively for a few days along with the water and the diet change. So you do the three week detox and then do this push or this flush. At this, you know, as you, you're, you're going to lead into that just as you finish. If you do that once per year, the difference in your health will be remarkable, particularly if you watch the blood test results, the creatinine clearance and the GFR, the glomerular filtration rate. So keep an eye on those two markers in the bloodstream. By regularly cleansing your kidney and watching these markers, you are going to notice an improvement in your kidney function. Tell your doctor that. It might be quite enlightening for your doctor to learn a few new tricks. Thanks for tuning in.